Get down! There's revolution in this town. Get up! Get down! There's revolution in this town. Get up! I am Jake Levy. I'm here with Cornell's Kyoto Now, a climate justice organization on Cornell's campus. And uh, we're here today to show solidarity with Occupy Sandy, to stand up for the, to connect extreme weather and climate change and cross divestment. And slowly start to walk in your circles, whispering, we are unstoppable. Another world is possible. We are unstoppable. Another world is possible. As you get louder, you get faster. Another world is possible. Start to speed it up a little bit. A little bit louder. Another world is possible. A little bit faster. A little bit louder. Another world is possible. My name is Ren. I'm with the Green Umbrella New York Youth for a Just and Sustainable Future. Today we had a convergence um, where about eight colleges were represented with 40 or 50 students. We came together to talk about the statewide divestment campaign where we are demanding that our colleges rethink the way we look at the economy and pull all of our money out of the fossil fuel industry. I'm a billionaire investor um, and I'm, uh, I'm here because I've heard that there are uh, reserves of coal in the mountains of Midtown Manhattan. Um, I'm here to uh, encourage you know, the exploitation of this you know, cheap, abundant resource. Would you like to say something? Okay, uh, tell me your name and why you're here today. Uh, my name is Hannah Mitchell. I'm a student at Bard College uh, in the Hudson Valley. And um, I am here because I feel very strongly that um, the energy path that we are, are on is um, is going to send us into a state of disaster. And I think there are a lot of money, a lot of people making, there are a small amount of people making a lot of money from um, fossil fuel extraction. Of loans, because of loans and other forms, and other forms of financial backing, of financial backing that, banks like this one that banks like this one help me out a little something something. Help me out a little something something. So y'all just get now. So y'all just get now. And let me go about my business. Let me go about my business. Spectral Energy! Yeah. And I aim to build a gas pipeline! And I aim to build a gas pipeline! Into the West Village! Into the West Village! And you'll yeah. Get the fucking pipeline! And you'll never stop me! And you'll never stop me! <laughs> <laughs> So here we are in front of News Corporation uh, because the news has been silent, really, uh, about the climate crisis we're in. All right, Mike Jack. Mike Jack. Welcome to News Corp. Welcome to News Corp. As we all know, as we all know, global warming is a hoax. Global warming is a hoax. By scientists eager for grant money. By scientists eager for grant money.
We like to give the last word. We like to give the last word to neutral bodies. To neutral bodies like the American Petroleum Institute. Like the American Petroleum Institute and the Heartland Institute. And the Heartland Institute. And yet, and yet, it is very distressing. It is very distressing to see that most of the American people to see that most of the American people actually believe in global warming. Actually believe in global warming. Now, if this were true, the question in everybody's mind would be, what would happen to the rich people? Especially the businessmen and executives who make this country great. I'm, I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. Presenting a survival ball, which will allow us to safely navigate, which will allow us to safely navigate uh, three meters of sea level rise, <laughs> and the uh, hurricane winds, and the hurricane winds, the shifting disease vectors, shifting disease vectors, and the extreme heat waves, and the extreme heat waves. Also, it's prohibitively expensive. Also, which will of course ensure, which will of course ensure that the best and brightest will survive. That the best and brightest will survive. The free market, the free market will always provide a solution. Will always provide a solution. People united will never be defeated. Now people united. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me right here in front of UBS, the company that is gratefully, graciously providing us with unlimited lines of credit so that we can move mountains like this one, which uh, they brought up from Appalachia. And, it, you know, thanks to the technology of mountaintop removal mining, whereby the entire top of a mountain is moved off, displacing communities, pushing waste into the streams, poisoning the groundwater, poisoning the earth, Investors like myself are making off with enormous profits. But don't think of it as a don't think of it as a mountain, please. Don't think of these as communities. Think of it as labor that's being restructured. Think of it as a resource that's benefiting all of us. Well, some of us more than others, perhaps. Mm, that is delicious. This is so good. Oh. My check! My check! Mic check! Mic check! Our hope is dying! Our hope is dying! Our families are sick with cancer! <laughs> Our families are sick with cancer! We continue to stay poor! We continue to stay poor! Don't listen to them. You are financing companies! You are financing companies! To continue destruction! Our trees are gone forever! Our trees are gone forever! Our water is poisoned! Our water is poisoned! With your silt and runoff! With your silt and runoff! It's time to take a stand! It's time to take a stand! Let's block these bankers! Let's block these bankers! Damaging our great world. No, 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 no. Damaging our great world. No. And so now the crowd is moving in to uh, shift the one percent and to uh, get them get the one percent out away from the top of the mountain and protect our resources, which is here symbolized by cake. We are unstoppable, another world is possible. 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 I believe that we will win! 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 I believe that we will win!
So hi, can you, um, I see you're uh, very much involved in this event, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, we're trying to get a, a whole movement together for divestment of fossil fuels. So we're, we've teamed up with a bunch of uh, student groups and a bunch of other environmental groups from all over the area. And we're, this is a direct response to uh, what happened with Hurricane Sandy. So a lot of us have been working with the Spectre pipeline and trying to get the fracked gas pipeline out of New York City. Some of us are working with the Rockaway pipeline to try to get the pipeline out of New York City. And a bunch of us are working on mountaintop removal and a whole bunch of other different environmental um, uh, actions. And so we all sort of joined together to sort of make a pledge um, about uh, trying to, to divest and try to encourage uh, colleges, art institutions uh, to start to sell all their stock in uh, the fossil fuel industry. Very good. And I noticed that you you brought in a lot of humor with the with the play and the yeah. and the you know the, the, the fake cake mountain. And <laughs> a lot of us are artists, so we find that the best way to uh, deliver our message out there is by doing visual representations and bringing humor and art and music into everything uh, helps to people helps people to feel included in on the action it helps people pay attention in a non-confrontational way and uh, humor is the best way to get a message across so I think watching us like scarf down the top of a mountain that was made of cake with, to explain the horror that mountaintop removal for the coal industry causes uh, it made people laugh and it made people curious little kids were coming up to us being like what are you frosting a cake for in the middle of Sixth Avenue and it was, so we could talk to the kids about it and the parents were like thank you for letting us know it's you know it was really great <laughs> my name is Monica Hunton and um, I was one of the organizers today with this um, global day of action for climate justice so you're drawing attention to climate but um, what is that and I noticed that you were stopping off at, at various uh, corporate headquarters but can you can you elaborate a little bit on that yeah. well we live in New York City so we are at the source of so much of where the funding of fossil fuels we are you know we have Wall Street here we decided to to go to Midtown where there is a whole bunch of evils and a whole bunch of fossil fuel funders investors the banks we also stopped by Hess we stopped by Bank of America which is an investor in Spectra Energy which has the, the fracked gas pipeline coming right into the West Village which we've been fighting every day now for months and months and we stopped at, um, at UBS which is the Swiss bank which funds mountaintop removal and um, we had an action of eating cake there we stopped at um, uh, did we stop? Oh, at News Corp to also address how we're just coming out in the, in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy. And we're now, the conversation about climate change is just beginning to really enter the conversation, you know. It's just come out of Governor Cuomo's lips for the first time. It's just come out of Bloomberg's lips. It's just coming out of Obama's now. Just when there was a huge void of that in all the elections, speaking about this while they were pumping and pushing for gas and for clean coal and for this transitional natural gas and, um, and that we're going to use every source here that we have and get off foreign oil. And, um, and that's just bunk. You know, <laughs> we need to transition completely off of fossil fuels, not just oil, but natural gas and coal. And because we are, we are suffocating our own population. If we want to get more jobs, we want to get good jobs for people. And those can be clean jobs and renewable jobs. That's what Americans want and deserve and You're need. Out of the view. So we were addressing that today. We were addressing the, the lack of that conversation with News Corp and the lack of media attention about that. And, and that right now, people are still without power. And people are, are still suffering from the aftermath of this climate crisis, of this fossil fueled Hurricane Sandy, which devastated so much of our lives here. And we want to start drawing the attention to that. We've been in recovery, we're still in recovery, but we also need to start broadening out and talking about the political issues of this and reaching out that we're doing the step-by-step -step practical guides of, of getting back on our feet but that we're also saying we recognize where this problem is coming from and we're not just going to like Josh Fox said last night in the in the 350 talk that we're not just going to go around and keep putting our finger into dikes stopping the water droplets coming out that we're going to make a whole fist and we're going to fight it systematically
and we're going to fight it totally and not just always be in a state of recovery that we, we are going to address it head on directly. So that's what this action was about today and um, it was, was really successful I think. We had a lot of young people. We had Green Umbrella which was this group that came from upstate and they just came in and worked with us and they are so full of energy and life and they're working on divestment campaigns for fossil fuels and colleges and um, they're just rocking. So we worked with them and um, we ended the day in the middle of this mayhem of corporations um, with a, a people's hurricane and um, we had a we mic checked and we uh, we stood in solidarity with groups around the world fighting for the same things.